What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of NX Tutorials. In today's episode, I'll show you the extrude feature. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so today we'll be working on, off of this uh, print right here. And I will have the, the link to this print in the description below. Alright, so looking at this print, uh, it's calling out in millimeters. So we gotta make sure to specify the units, millimeters. The first thing we'll do is uh, we'll sketch a square, 80 by 52, and then extrude it 8 millimeters. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. So go ahead and create a new file. Specify your units. We want millimeters. Name your file. And then go ahead and choose your folder destination and then click OK. Alright, next we want our auto dimensioning off. So you want to come in the file. Under preferences, you want to click on sketch. And then you want the constraints and then auto dimensioning checked off. Go ahead and click OK. All right, next, go ahead and click on Sketch. Choose your plane. I'll leave it at X and Y. And then we'll create a rectangular. All right, so down here it says your sketch needs 16 constraints, so we'll go ahead and constrain it. First thing is uh, we'll go ahead and rapid dimension the bottom line. Make that 80 millimeters. And then the side, that should be 52 millimeters. Alright. And then we want this line to constrain to the x axis, and this point to the y axis. Go ahead and close out. Alright, next we want this line to be equal length with the top one. So you click on both and go ahead and click on the equal length. And same with the side. Click on both lines and then make them equal length. Alright, next go ahead and connect your endpoints. So select this endpoint with this endpoint, make it coincident. Same with this side. Connect your endpoints. In the bottom, all right. So we need uh, two constraints. We'll make this line to be uh, horizontally, and then this line to be vertical. Now your sketch uh, should be fully constrained. So once uh, you have that fully constrained, go ahead and finish. Alright, next we'll go ahead and extrude this uh, sketch. So come up here, extrude. Or you can actually press the X on your keyboard. I'm going to go ahead and press X. And another way is you can actually, if you can't find it here, if you have a different layout on your uh, software, you can actually search it on the search box. Type in extrude, press enter. And then the first one is, uh, once you hover over it, it's going to highlight it in red and tell you exactly where it's at. And then there's this uh, arrow down here. If you click on it, you can actually add it to your bar. So if you want to add it to your quick access toolbar, that's all the way up here in the top. Or you want to top to the add it to the top border bar, which is up here. And then if you go ahead and click on it, that's going to give you this pop-up window that extrude and then there's actually another way to uh, access the extrude uh, in the menu here if you click on the menu click insert and then under design features you're gonna have extrude so these are the three different ways of accessing the extrude feature alright so let's go ahead and get going with the extrude. 
you want to select your curves up here single curve go ahead and uh, make a connected curves so once you select that it's gonna extrude it alright so the star will go ahead and change it to zero that means it's zero from the sketch and then we want a distance going up eight millimeters which is the thickness they're calling out for uh, eight millimeter thickness so we'll go ahead and type in eight and then go ahead and click OK alright so we we have our first box next we'll go ahead and create this cutout it's uh, 16 millimeters going up and then 26 going in and it's actually 20 millimeters uh, wide alright so we'll go ahead and create a sketch we want to choose this plane click OK We'll go ahead and make this uh, profile of the slot or the cutout. Next, you want to rapid dimension it. So, you want this line to be 26 millimeters wide. So, type in 26. And then we want it away from the bottom. We want actually 16 millimeters, so type in 16. And then we want these two lines to be uh, 20 millimeters apart, so type in 20. All right, go ahead and close out. Next, we want to make this line with this line equal length. And then we want to go ahead and connect your endpoints. Go ahead and connect the endpoint of this line to this line 4 alright so we still have uh, two constraints alright so we're gonna select this line make a horizontal and then go ahead and select this line we want that to be vertical and that should take care of your uh, sketch to be fully constrained once we have that go ahead and finish Alright, next we want to extrude it. Click on extrude. You want to select your curves, which is the sketch we just created, and also select this line, so we're going to go ahead and connect it. Alright, so once you have that, we're going to have a block. Alright, so uh, go ahead and reverse the direction. And we want 8 millimeters, the same thickness as the block, the main block. Go ahead and click OK. Alright, once we have that, we'll go ahead and subtract it. Go ahead and click on the subtract feature. We want this block subtracted from this. Go ahead and click OK. Alright, so now we have the cutout. And just to be sure, we'll go ahead and uh, measure to see hey, if it's the uh, right dimension so it's actually 16 millimeters coming off from the bottom we'll go ahead and measure that click on the measuring tool we'll go ahead and uh, measure the object so we want this face to this face and that should be 16 so this is the right dimension next we'll measure uh, from this face to that face that should be 20 so delete the object one and then go ahead and uh, select this object that should be 20 millimeters and that's right on 
And then lastly, we'll measure this object to the inner opening. So that should be 26 millimeters. So we'll go ahead and do that. So you want to make sure you're under object, select this face, and then select this face. That should be 26 millimeters according to the print. So we're right on track. Go ahead and exit out. All right. Next thing is uh, we'll go ahead and create this extrude. So it's actually 36 millimeters coming off this edge, and then it's 31 millimeters high and 8 millimeters in uh, thickness. So we'll go ahead and work on that. So you want to come up in the extrude again, and then we'll go ahead and select this. You want to select the bottom line. And then for the vector, we want to go in on the x-axis, so click on vector dialog. You want to select the x-axis, so that way it's going on the x, and then you want to reverse the direction. It's going inwards. So the endpoint is uh, 8 plus the 36. And then the start, you want it to be 36. Alright, once we have that, go ahead and offset it. We want it to be uh, two sided. So I change the direction by uh, giving it a negative value so it can go in the other direction. And we do want it to be uh, 31 off the bottom. Alright, so once you have that, go ahead and click OK. Alright, next you want to unite these two blocks. So click Unite, come up here. And then you want to select your first block, and then unite it to the second block we just created. Click OK. Alright, so now that you're united, and we'll go ahead and do our measurements just to be safe. So from this face to that face, that should be 36. We'll go ahead and do that. Click on the measuring tool. Select your object. We want this object to this object. And that's 36. That's right on. And then we want from here to here, the thickness 8 millimeters. So we'll select our object, we want it to this, so that's 8 millimeters, that's right on, so go ahead and click OK. Alright, and then lastly we'll go ahead and uh, work on the holes. So we got two of those at 12 millimeters in line, coming up uh, 13 millimeters from the bottom, and then 18 from the side. So come up here in the hole, click on the hole. And then it's going to specify your plane. We'll select this face. And then we'll go ahead and make a click, create another point, and then close out. All right, so we got a constraint, and we need uh, four constraints. The first one is we want these points to be in line, so highlight them, click on them, and then make them vertically in alignment. Next, you want to give it a rapid dimension. Alright, so we set from the bottom to this point, that should be 13 millimeters, so type in 13. And then from this edge to the point, that's 18 millimeters, so go ahead and type in 18, press enter. And then from these two points, they're actually 26 millimeters apart, so type in 26, press enter. Now your sketch is fully constrained. Go ahead and finish. Alright, so we want the whole diameter to be 12, so type in 12 here. And then the depth limit, you can make it through body. So that means it's going to go through the whole block. And then the boolean is going to be automatically set as subtract since it's a hole. So click OK. Alright, so now we have our part, 
The next thing is we'll go ahead and hide the sketch lines. So under view, click on the view and then move to layers. You want to select the object and then once you click on the inverse selection that's going to select everything else. So that should be 10 objects. Go ahead and click OK. We'll go ahead and move it to a different layer. We'll type in 5, press enter. Next you want to go to layer settings. Now you see the layer 5 that we just created. Go ahead and uncheck that. Once you uncheck it, that should be uh, that should hide the sketch lines. And then go ahead and close out. Alright, and lastly we'll go ahead and change the color. So press and hold control J. And then it's gonna ask you to select the object. You want to select this object, click OK. Click on the color box. And then go ahead and choose your preference. Click OK. And there's our part. Alright, there it is. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Until next time.